All right, I've had a few people ask for an answer key or a review of the last exam about acids and bases and some review of valence bond theory. So let's pile into it. This um, first question asked for a valence bond description of HCN. HCN. So the first thing I need is a Lewis structure. One valence electron, four valence electrons, five valence electrons for H, C, and N, respectively. And so we have a total of 10 valence electrons. Connect up with single bonds. And then fill the octets on the non-central atom. And for people who have studied enough, they would know the dot structure of H, C, N already. But if not, there's our 10 electrons all in the framework and to fill the octets of the carbon it needs to share from nitrogen. So HCN, the way this works out so all the octets are filled and you have the right number of electrons you have a triple bond between carbon and nitrogen. So hydrogen does not hybridize it's only going to use its 1s orbital carbon has nitrogen and a hydrogen on it, so we're going to call it sp hybridized. And the nitrogen has a lone pair and a carbon on it, two electron domains, so we're going to call this sp hybridized also. Um, some people say that terminal atoms don't hybridize, but I think to accommodate the lone pair and the carbon, it's reasonable to think that those two are going to avoid each other, make a linear structure, and have sp hybridization of the nitrogen. So now we go and draw what the sp hybrid orbitals look like. So nitrogen has two sp orbitals and they're in a linear arrangement. One is going to hold the lone pair. So I'm put a pair of electrons in there. And carbon also is sp hybridized. This is where sometimes things get a little busy. We have the two sp orbitals overlapping. So this makes sigma bond. And then carbon's sp orbital is aimed opposite where the nitrogen is. And that puts it in a good position to bond with the hydrogen. And it's using its 1s orbital. So there's another sigma bond. And what hopefully you can see from the picture is our first bond between any two atoms is going to be sigma and is going to involve either hybrid orbitals or the s orbital on hydrogen. So when this says describe, it's a really good idea to write a sentence with a noun and a verb rather than just draw a picture. Uh, the picture is representing things pretty well. So we have a sigma bond between carbon and nitrogen from the overlap of carbon sp and nitrogen sp orbitals. So that's a real key for where this sigma bond comes from, the overlap of sp orbitals. And then there's also a sigma bond between carbon and hydrogen from the overlap of the carbon sp and hydrogen 1s orbitals. So there's the sigma framework. And then anytime you make sp orbitals, use s and p atomic orbitals, normal atomic orbitals, that leaves us a few p orbitals left over. And that's where your multiple bonds come from. Any additional bonds there, which sometimes I like color coding. So if I had a bunch of colored markers, I might go ahead and make the entire pi system in red. Or sometimes even better, make part of the pi system in one color. And then some of the rest of the pi system in another color, so it really stands out that we have two pi bonds.
between carbon and nitrogen. So these p orbitals, so we have go ahead and overlap with their parallel neighbors. So we have two pi bonds between carbon p orbitals. And actually a better way to phrase that is the same structure I was doing above. So it's good to be construct uh, consistent in your phrasing. Two pi bonds between carbon and nitrogen from the overlap of carbon P and nitrogen P orbitals. So there's essentially the bonds. There's two sigma bonds and two pi bonds. And those are the orbitals that go into forming the structure. And if you wanted to address it in a sentence, you can put the lone pair of electrons on nitrogen is in a nitrogen sp orbital. If the question asks you to describe the bonding, that's a non-bonding pair, so it doesn't really fit in with our bonding picture, but it's a nice piece of information as well to show that everything in the Lewis picture is accounted for in our valence bond picture. So there it is, valence bond description of HCN. A couple minutes.